<laughs> it's summer, guys. <laughs> you know what we like to do in summer? Go we, to the beach. Yes, I just go to the beach in Massachusetts. So yeah, exactly. Great. If you live near a beach, it yes. takes us a while to get there. But go to the beach. And Chinese people are the same if they live near the sea. They love going to the beach. They do. The problem is you end up swimming in garbage. This is a huge issue in China. Oh, yeah. I mean, so just people get disappointed because think about it, this guy is probably from somewhere inland, right? He goes to the beach with his family. He goes, oh, do lot. There's yeah, so Yeah, he's, he's, com he's complaining. And this is something I'd see all the time in China. Um, this, this is a problem um, in China, and it's because of the whole communist system. Yeah, yeah. Public... Public property, or uh, I should say public stuff, is no never taken care of. There's no respect because it doesn't belong to you. And you have no incentive in China to look after something that doesn't belong to you no. either. And that's why you'll see, like, buildings. They look really the run down. The will take care of it. Yeah. Uh, and it's not your problem. Yeah. Throw something away on there. There's it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. And buildings. <laughs> exactly. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, you'll look it's at a building, it'll be all like run down and crappy. But if you go inside to someone's apartment, they're generally nicely taken care of because yes. that's that's their little space and it belongs to them, even though temporarily in China, because you can't actually buy property, you lease it. But at least that's, that's true. they take some pride in that. But if it's outside in the lawn or the, they'll leave it to rot. And it's the same with this kind Let of rot, thing. one might say. Mm -hmm. This is an issue um, in China if you go to the beaches. It's horrendous. Is that a 5G beach? Maybe it is 5G. Yeah. Pearl white. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like mud. Yeah, it is. Pearl white beaches. Who says that? <laughs> Good old clam man. Clam man. Yeah, anyway, so uh, I would s severely suggest that you avoid uh, Chinese beaches during any kind of holiday. Yo, you know what's even worse than the actual beach condition? What? Or the throngs of people is the quality of the water right up there where people are. Do you know how polluted the, the oceans are off the coast of China? It's Especially scary. where we used to, you know, in Shenzhen, because yeah. they've got that Diawan power, yeah. like nuclear power plant nearby, which dumps, as you'll find out later in the show, a large amount of like contaminated mm. water into the bay. Yeah. Um, which kind of sucks. But uh, just to, I made a video, you can go look, where I actually needed my passport to get onto the beach in, yeah. in Shenzhen. They have machines you have to book now because it got so bad that they actually had to make a system where you have to reserve. A spot on the beach, but yeah. it's still crazy. Fred. It's still super crazy. But yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, Daiwan is in Hoijia, and that's actually where I used to swim yep. to get to the closest beach. It only took me half an hour from where exactly. I lived. And I go there, and it was shocking to look at a nuclear plant. Yeah, we've got While footage. You're swimming. We've got footage, <laughs> yeah, remember? Me, so yeah, I'm swimming. And you can see, right the, there see the, the nuclear power plant That's over right. the way. Yeah. Horrible. Anyway, this is kind of funny and hilarious, and it shows you some ingenuity. You know, uh, when you travel on the high speed rail in China, it's kind of like if you travel by plane these days, you have a little yeah. power outlet on the seats. Yeah. So, what does this guy do with a power outlet? <laughs> this is in Chongqing. <laughs> he cooked rice. Why not? Bring your own food, right? Keep it hot. Every people are cracking up at this, but yeah. this is very is as much of an outlier as this is, and people are laughing. Yeah, um, this is something you'll see when uh, parents get their kids ready to go study abroad. They like pack a rice cooker with them with rice, and it's like, bro, half the time they're going to Australia, mm -hmm. where there's Asian supermarkets everywhere with that exact same brand of rice cooker available yes. to them to buy immediately. Yes, at the shop or online. And the exact same brand of rice. Yeah. But that doesn't count. No. It's got to be from China, yeah. yeah. There's a thing about that. And uh, you know, you know, there's like these border security shows. Yeah. If you ever, there's one for Australia. I can't remember what it's called. It's yeah, like Border Forces or whatever. If you watch that, man, it's like half the show is just about um, Chinese students and Chinese aunties and stuff bringing literally a supermarket's worth of food every time they come over the border. Yeah. And they always try to lie about what's in there because, you know, right. in Australia, they're very strict about, you know, allowed to bring fresh vegetables and fruit. they can buy all and... the same stuff. I know, but they want to bring all the parasites and stuff. They don't understand that that can be de detrimental, especially to Australia's yeah, like livestock ecosystem. and whatever. Yeah. They just bring it over anyway. Uh, so, yeah, watch that if you want to laugh. Um, train rice rules, dude. Yeah, train rice, man. Like it's better. What is this that we've got in the Some background? Fantastic fan art. It says, uh, mm -hmm. All My Authoritarian Babies. It's a comic <laughs> from a very special artist that yep. uh, is a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and Actually, I'll get babies. us out of there. You can see a signature down there. There's two babies. One mm -hmm. of them is wearing a like hammer and sickle type thing. Yeah. It says, uh, 
Bro, I know I'm just a baby and all, but did that effing water cooler talk? <laughs> and there's a water cooler that says glug 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 diplomacy. Yeah, so if you don't know, here's the sound bite. <laughs> Wang Wen being. Uh, he is the most hollow man. <laughs> He just can't, he can't have an opinion. Yeah, can he? nope. He's a state mouthpiece for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and yes. he goes out there and just has to say, like, the state's rhetoric. And someone in our show, a fan of the show, made made a joke and said he just sounds like a water cooler, yeah. just going, because he does can't pay attention to him. And yeah. so it just became this running joke that he's a water cooler diplomat. Yeah, I often reply to him on Twitter, because I'm yeah. not even joking, but every single day he'll He'll have one mandate. Like, I think really? it was, um, the other day it was Taiwan again. Because it's either Taiwan or the or Japan's whatever nu- nuclear water or whatever. So Taiwan, and he's like, Taiwan is an inalienable, in- inalienable, whatever, inseparable part yes. of China. So I'm just like, you're an inalienable <laughs> and inseparable part of all whining losers or something <laughs> like that. But he just won't stop. <laughs> Every day he'll post the yeah. same thing like five it's or six literally times. literally his job. Yeah, but just in slightly different wording to see if he can yeah. like hit the, the right mark. He's a very annoying guy. Yes, and mm. in the new Twitter, the way Twitter's running, those people get a lot of say. Yeah, they do. They get a lot of boosts. It's unfortunate, yeah. Do you remember when I uh, had a, a hissy fit yeah. and went crazy about Snapchat? Because yes. what happened is there was a nine dash line that was including the South China Sea on the on the map of Asia. Yeah, if you're in Taiwan and, and you open it. If you're in Taiwan, up. you open it. So that's bullshit. Yeah. Taiwan doesn't belong to China, right? No. So I made a huge hissy fit. I reported it. I reported on it. I had mm. other people report it. Yeah, we did it on the we show. We did it on the show. Yeah. We've done multiple things about this, mm-hmm. right? It was actually one of our earlier campaigns. Yeah. And pleased to say, a friend of mine uh, who went to Taiwan to yeah. try um, says that the nine dash line is not currently not there. Yeah. So that's great. If you oh, open Snapchat. up Snapchat in Taiwan, it's no longer there. Good kind on you, win. Snapchat. Well done. I like to think we had a uh, major part in that. Yeah. Snapchat's finally mm. doing something other than facilitating child predators or whatever. Is that what it is? Well, a lot of you get a lot of cases where they like contact through Snapchat. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you know, interesting. Because you know, it's I've pretty not, anonymous. I actually and they can deleted delete my Snapchat because it was uh, back in the day when we were trying to get on all social media, and yeah. I, there was like zillions of people requesting. I was like, "All right, I'm out of here. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> it like goes away." Yeah, yeah it it it's, gets yeah. to a point where you just don't want to mess around with the, I'm too uh, social old media for this stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway. In China, people do not want to get involved in anyone else's problems because yeah. it might affect them. Yeah, they don't want to get sued. They don't want to be They just don't want their life to... They don't want to, they don't want to get up. If she passed out from heat exhaustion, there are crowds there. And not a single person uh, goes to help. Right? The security guard's like, I'm, I'm out, of out of here. here. It's not my job. Dude looks over. He's like, whatever. Everybody's like, driving past. It's normal for that. Look, happen, woman walks past. She's like, "Oh, okay." Like I said, it's the go-to in China. It's the it is the norm to do this. Okay. Yeah, to look. <laughs> Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to have dirty talk in bed. Open your legs widely. Show me your private part. You bitch. <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Uh, and if my mind's 